Hello lovely people! You guys really loved when we did a rudest questions Q&A during Vlogmas, so we thought we'd do a part two to answer all the... I can't really believe there's that many rude questions to be honest. Been asked before. So rude. Yeah. So to be clear, a rudest question is a question that starts with, I don't want to be rude, but... So it, it may be like, I don't want to be rude, but what's wrong with Jessica? Well, the one that kind of got to me for some reason was like, I don't want to be rude, but why doesn't Claudia wear makeup? And I was like, I am wearing makeup. Why did that? I don't know. She talks about that now. <laughs> actually, a lot. I think it's because. She tells people she's offended. I think it's because as a sort of tomboyish girl, I've always struggled to do my makeup and I don't know how to do it. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Femininity. It's a sore point. I'm like, oh no. Yeah. But actually, whatever. Moving on. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Who cares what they say? You're yeah. perfect just the way you yeah. are. So thank you very much to everyone who suggested the second round of questions in our stories, in our joint Instagram, which is at Jessie and Claude, which you can go and follow in the link in the description down below. We also have our own Instagram, but Jessie and Claude's really cute. So. Yeah, and I don't really post on my own. I only really like posting when I'm on holiday because it's like, oh, I'm inspired by so much stuff. And when you're at home, it's just like, mm. well, you know what we're doing next week? Yay! Going on holiday. We're going to Rome for the five year anniversary of our engagement and my birthday. I mean, because it's because, we got, engaged on because we got engaged in Rome at your birthday. It's not like we go sunset. away every time it's an anniversary of engagement. That would be like a bit obsessive. I don't want to be rude, but I'm starting with a nice one. Yeah, okay. I don't want to be rude, but are you really such a perfect couple in real life? Um, like, no one is really that cute. Yeah, we're kind of sickeningly perfect. <laughs> no, sorry, yes, we are actually kind of disgusting. It freaks out our friends and they hate it. But still, I don't know if it freaks them out. A little bit. Does it? A little bit. Yeah, we genuinely yeah, are anyone... best friends who do absolutely everything together. Do you together. think some of our friends think we're like disingenuous? Do you think they think we're putting on a bit of a like, like you know, a bit like if someone's trying so hard that they're so pet, like that they've actually got behind the scenes, they're probably not having a good time? Do you think people think that? No, I think they're just very annoyed by us and our constant need to be near each other and do all the same things. <laughs> well, that's all right then. <laughs> Luckily, we're just as needy and as and obsessive as each other as yeah. the other one is. I don't want to be rude, but what can you see out of your blind eye? Nothing. Specks of light. Yeah. Sometimes out question. of like a trust exercise, I poke her in it. That's what our relationship is. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, actually, so I went blind in this eye like 12 years ago almost. Wow, that's a really long time ago. So around the outside, there's just black. And then in the middle, there are like these weird, like it's light. And it, it's like a kind of very blurry kaleidoscope. <laughs> <laughs> and it gives me headaches if I look out of it. Yeah. For too much. And then I have to readjust my vision, sorry. Yeah, Ooh. so basically your eye is picking up light. Now I can't see properly. But it's not yeah. picking up, it doesn't interpret it as, a, as an image. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem if I'm reading and I'm getting quite tired. Basically what I can see is one eye is reading the text, but the other eye is superimposing on that blurry whiteness because the black doesn't really show through because it's too small, the text. Mm. So it, it just gets blurrier and blurrier and blurrier, despite the fact that one I can see. I don't want to be rude, but how do you keep on being good friends with Stevie Bobby? She's so different from you. Oh. But, like, we're different but from we one another. <laughs> like, difference doesn't mean, like, that you have to com be conflicted. We're good friends with Stevie because we really enjoy her presence, and I think she's good friends with us because she enjoys our presence. Also, there are so many things that we agree on that are more important than being a cool LA lesbian and being two very British homebodies. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's like what your life values are. Right? Yeah, what you genuinely care about, what you don't like to see in the world, what you like yeah. to see in the world, the goodness that you see in people. Think... Although Stevie, it's not great seeing the goodness in people sometimes. If you annoyed her too much, I'm pretty sure she let the world burn, but it's also good to have friends who have differences and then you can work together. Like she sometimes helps me by getting angry at people for me. She'll be like, no, Jessica, don't take that. Be a strong businesswoman like me. And I'll be like, Okay, I'm learning. And I'll be like, calm down, Stevie. That person didn't mean to offend you very deeply. Just mm -hmm. take a step back. Yeah, yeah, you help each other. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's a wonderful friendship. I don't mean to be rude, but I often read posts from disabled influencers about how they don't want to be inspiration porn to people. They want to be recognized and appreciated as normal people. But I do find you all to be inspirational and personally encouraging. So, am I part of the problem? 
Am I doing the bad thing? I genuinely don't know. I would say no, it's fine. Yeah. It depends on why you're being inspired. I actually have a video about this. It's inspiring and othering someone yeah. is the bad thing. Inspired by someone and seeing them as a real human being is the good one. To me, I, I kind of break it down more in the fact that it's why you're inspired by them. So if it's just that they've overcome a hurdle, continued to do well in life, then you can take that lesson and be like, I have a hurdle, it doesn't have to be the same thing. And then you get over that hurdle in the same way by taking the inspiration to do so, that's fine. It's when you're just inspired by someone purely because you're like, oh my God, is alive and disabled. Inspirational. Um, don't wanna be rude, but when was the first time you did it? <laughs> okay, sure. It was on day number three. <laughs> Which officially is apparently okay. Yeah, it was. Claudia came over to my Jessica house was very... and I cooked her a cauliflower pizza. Jessica was very taken aback by how how forward she was. Yeah, she was I... like, I never do this. I normally wait. I normally go out with someone for, for six context, months. For context, for context, Claudia is only the second person that I have ever dated, and in my previous relationship, I made her wait like four months, I think. Yeah, but that's because you were a virgin. Four, five months. It's yeah. Different when it's the second time. Okay. Anyway, but I mean, if you want to wait four months, that's fine too. <laughs> you do you, for goodness sake. Don't you We just We just personally people. couldn't keep our hands off each other. I don't want to be rude, but chronic fatigue and sex, I'm struggling. Well, it depends how much your partner's demanding from you, really. Actually, it's not just about that. It's not, I remember when we first got together, I, being very happy and... <laughs> You can go with that adjective, yeah. Yeah, and that was not great necessarily because then I was way too tired to like do anything else. Yeah, but Every time you to went do... to work, I was a bit like, oh good, I'll sleep now. You didn't need to do anything else. We were like <laughs> making the foundations of our love. <laughs> For six months. <laughs> yeah, strong foundations, obviously. Clearly, it's worked out well. Yeah. Just be open and honest about your own limit. Open with yourself as well. You have to sometimes tell yourself that things can't happen even if you want them to happen because you need to go to sleep now. Um, God, there's so much sex stuff, guys. Have you ever had a threesome? Uh, no. No. Very, very monogamous. <laughs> so very much so. And also, I'm just... actually kind of sad that I've ever kissed anyone not Claudia. I've never even had a threesome outside of you either, like in, in the past. I've had a, I had a three-way kiss. That's sounds... so disgusting. <laughs> like, <I'm> with... <laughs> But then... Yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> um, not a rude question, but about them. What if I'm curious about someone with a disability? Is it rude to ask? As in, is it rude to go up to someone and be like, Hi, what's your disability? Oh, I see. If it's someone that you know has a disability and you just want to find out more about it, like someone at work, and you know that they are blind, so you want to know about that, Google. It's called Google. It's great. It's really helpful. Oh, you mean like, but it's rude to be like, if you suddenly have a like unquenchable curiosity on like wanting to know how they got blind and when they went blind. Yes. And <laughs> like, how do they go? Yeah, yeah so like... basically, um, disabled people don't exist to be a thesaurus, uh, an encyclopedia on all things disabled, even if it's just relating to their own disability. If they want to share their personal experience with you, then they will do that in their own time. So it would be it would be rude to go up and be like, when did you go blind? How did you go blind? I mean, obviously that's rude. Well, you, say, <laughs> you, say, you, say, you say obviously, some people might not think it's rude. Oh, okay. I think I've definitely heard people ask people questions like that, really upfront stuff. People have definitely asked you yeah, stuff, like upfront. Yeah, I love it, it's so great, oh my God, have you always been, It's like, just like, well, have you always been deaf? Like, I don't know, like, is that rude it's, question or? See, it's also on a person by person thing. Well, legally. Oh yeah, legally as, you're as not allowed a, to ask a, someone about their disability. Britain, at least. Like, if you present with a, like, carer's card or a disability card, or whatever it is that you call it, the person, like, at the cinema or... The, Some people the, have that card, not everyone or has the that train, card. Or the, like, public transport person or whatever who's checking your card, they can't then be like, oh, and what's your disability? Yeah, no one's allowed to ask you what's your disability. Or it's like if when you request, request special assistance at the airport, they can't say, mm, well, we only actually give wheelchairs out to people who have, like, problems with their legs, so can you, like, classify what's your disability? I mean, that has happened before, oh, yeah. but not it's in happened. England. It's happened. <laughs> that happened in Malaysia. I think it's about timing, and I'm really happy to chat to someone about deafness, and my deafness in particular, when I want to talk about that. If I don't want to talk about it, then yes, my heart does sink mm. when someone goes, 
Oh, so how deaf are you? Have you always been deaf? But why do you sound like that if you're deaf? And those things, oh. and I'm like, oh, I just wanted to come out and have a meal with my friends, and you, friend of a friend who I don't know very well, will particularly want to explain my yeah. deep feelings to. Great. Equivalent of going up to someone you don't know very well and saying to them, So your mum died, tell me about that. Yeah, that's true. Or like someone who's got like premature hair loss. Would you go oh, up and yeah. be like, So you're bald, does that hurt yourself? Oh, that's really like, really sucks you got that bald patch, mate, and you're only like 32. <laughs> Best kiss? Oh my god, okay, that's really easy, I think. Okay. Um, our, our best kiss from my point of view, basically, when Claudia and I met each other, we spent every single day and night together, but Claudia did actually have a job as well. So one night she was like, I'm gonna go home and actually sleep at my place because I've gotta be up really early the next morning to go to work, and I was like, okay, that's really sad. And it's like the first <laughs> night that we've spent apart, but sure, I'm a big, brave, strong girl. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. So I was just sat there on my bed, texting her, telling her how much I missed her, and she was like, yeah, this bed now feels really weird and empty and lonely without you, and I don't like my room, I wish I was in your room and I was like yeah I love you so much and then she was like cool answer your door I was like what you didn't say and I then I ran you. downstairs no. you didn't say I love you so much maybe you did it in your head because we hadn't actually said that oh. <laughs> it's just uh, like three of dating okay anyway you ruined it because I ran downstairs and then I pulled open the door and there she was and she was like hi I just came to give you a kiss good night yeah I had and been at work kissed. I had been at work that week I think I hadn't seen you for like what like two nights Oh, maybe. But yeah, then we I was kissed, at work that day. And then, yeah, oh, and then we kissed, and then she went home. That was yeah, it. Yeah, that was quite romantic. Oh, yeah. I remember I walked all the way from my, I got home from work, and I walked all the way from my house to your house, and I didn't know if you'd definitely be in. Also, it was a bit of a gamble, because sometimes even if you are in, you can't hear me knocking on the door. <laughs> Luckily, you had Walter this around this time, so he kind of like alerted you to the fact. And then I was like, that's it, night. And then off I yeah. went. It was really nice. Mm. Our first kiss was really nice. It took me by surprise. Yeah, that was good. Jessica was like <laughs> waiting at a taxi rank after our, this was our second date. And um, and then uh, you were just like, blah, 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 like her nervous, just random chatter. I don't think I was that nervous. Maybe a little bit nervous. Anyway, and I thought I was like super cool. And I was like, Shh. and then I kissed you, but not like that kind of kiss. I did like a proper kiss. Yes. Then you were taken aback. I just remember your arms were just like, like down on your side. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, sorry, I've just been wanting to do that all evening. And she was like, okay. <laughs> and then I was like, come back to mine. And she was like, no. no. <laughs> but well, next so I had day. graduation the next day. <laughs> I know, you had the graduation next day. I don't want to be rude, but why aren't you adopting? Because there are tons of kids who are waiting to be adopted. And that's a fair enough question. And the answer is that we would like to adopt one day. That is definitely something that we would like to happen, um, but it is quite difficult to adopt and it's easier to adopt if you can show that you know how to look after a child. Adoption is definitely something that we would like to do in the future. Mm. We also then, as we get older, maybe once our kids are older, we'd quite like to foster as well. I particularly would really like to adopt children who have some kind of disability or deafness because they're often left. It's very hard to find families who are willing to adopt children who have mm. different needs. Or someone who's been thrown out of their home either permanently or temporarily yeah. because of LGBTQ plus issues. Also on a personal level, like you, Jessica was told from like 16, 17 that she wouldn't be able to like carry a child to term or and potentially, and even if she could, like giving the actual act of labour would be damaging to her body. And my genetics So terrible. she was from a young age being like, okay, well I'm going to adopt. I actually wanted to adopt even before then. Oh, okay, sorry. Strangely enough. Well, you, and you have... No, like, I knew. You have siblings who are adopted, I mean cousins that are adopted. Yeah. So I've always thought about that I would do it biologically, and that's something that I just personally want to do, at yeah. least for the first child, just because I want to have that... Experience? Yeah, that experience, basically. And I don't think there's any shame in saying that. No. Um, there are a lot of questions that are based around parenting and disabilities, like are you scared about being a disabled parent? How will you adapt your home and health to accommodate a baby? If you have a child, are you worried about dropping the baby due to mobility issues? So lots of these things. Um, and yeah, that's a very good question. Am I kind of scared of it? Yeah. But also, you just gotta make yeah. it work. And I have a lot of love to give. Definitely, you're gonna be great, Mum. Thank you. I think the most important thing is to just be consistent with 
your love love yeah and just be unconditional love to the child and they know that you're always like if you can provide that emotional Stability. stability I'm very if, emotionally stable. Yeah. Uh, as, um, if, as long as he can provide that emotional stability, that's the most important thing. And physical, you know, lots of, like, I think it's fine to just be like, oh, mum can't pick you up today, or mum can't get out of bed today, but then they can come to you and have cuddles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even on the days where I'm really, really feeling awful, mm. I'm still me. Yeah. But I mean, on a practical level, I'm going to take nine months at least out of work. So I'll be like full time mummy and Jessica's going to continue working um, to, Doing some, to, to some capacity. We'll I don't, know. I don't that, know. I, yeah, sure. I mean, we haven't discussed that. But the point is like when it's a baby, 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 I will be around all the time to like yeah. help, help out because I know Jessica's nervous about that. Yes, but it will be fine. Like I do, I have babysat my nephew yeah. by myself. It's fine. You just have to ask the child to do things. You've never dropped Tilly. I've never dropped Tilly. Huh. That's true. Tilly like, has sometimes I think you have from me. enough awareness that you're like, oh, I feel a bit unbalanced, and you sit, like put. The yeah. Thing. Anyway, we shall see how it goes. Last question. Okay, I don't mean to be rude, but what's something you wish the other would do more? <laughs> I really wish Claudia would oh. give in to the dogs less. I knew you were going to say something like that because they're right here in their face, like you know. Claudia and I <laughs> parent our dogs very differently. Um, like in that I'm kind of the one that makes rules and then keeps the rules and Claudia's the one who goes yes those rules are an excellent idea excuse me while I break them all oh I know what maybe it's like a reverse answer what do I wish you would do more I wish you would be more easy on yourself oh <laughs> You're so cute. Well, that's your New Year's resolution too, so, you know. It is. If I say it and yes. you said it to yourself, then you got to do it. Because Not... who do you love the Push. most? Yourself and me, so. Yes. <laughs> you should listen to those people. I love Claudica the most. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are new here, please do subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can follow Claudia on Instagram and encourage her to post things there. You can also follow us together on Jessie and Claude, where we just post pictures of the two of us being cute and then write soppy things to each other. I know, it's very cheesy. We just can't help it. <laughs> it's just the way we're made. Oh, sometimes I read them and I'm like, oh God. You're actually way cheesier than I me know, in captions. It's quite impressive. It's a romantic. Mm -hmm. Anyway, bye. Bye. Hello, lovely people. I just smacked myself in the chair. Oh dear. Oh. Take three.